Today in our 2015 Mazda CX-5, we're going to be taking a look at showing you how to install the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13315. This is what our hitch looks like when it's installed. The hitch itself, or receiver tube, is nice and tucked in underneath the bumper fascia, so you're not going to have to worry about hitting your legs or your shins on it when loading and unloading the back of the vehicle. It's going to be a Class 3. It's going to be 2 inch by 2 inch. Hitch pin hole is going to be 5 8 inch in diameter. As you can see, it has nice reinforced collar to give you a little extra stability on your receiver tube. Your safety chain loops is going to be ring style. You can see it gives you plenty of space for different size safety chain hooks. You're going to have a 600 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. You're going to have a 4,000 pound max trailer weight, which is a trailer plus the load included. Now I do recommend checking your owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. And you're going to want to pick the lowest number between the hitch and the vehicle. Now this is a fairly simple installation. I would recommend having an extra person when setting the hitch up into place. It does come with all the necessary hardware and use the existing holes and weld nuts in the frame. Next, we will give you a couple measurements to help you when deciding on any hitch mount accessories you may need, such as a bike rack, ball mount, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper will be about three inches. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube will be about 15 inches. Now let's show you how to get this installed. First thing we have to do to start our installation is we're going to have to lower our exhaust. You're going to have four rubber hangers. You're going to have two on the driver's side and two on the passenger side. We're going to spray them down with some lubrication. And you're going to want to take a strap and you're going to hang it underneath so that when you take this down, it doesn't uh, rest on the pipe itself. You can put it anywhere. I usually like to put it on the, uh, on the springs on the vehicle. Anything that's solid, just like that. We'll take a crowbar, slowly start to peel the rubber isolator off. You're gonna do that same thing on all the remaining three. Once you have those down, we're gonna loosen our strap just to let our exhaust hang a little bit lower. We're gonna have Two pieces of tape, you're going to have one here, you're going to have one back here that we're going to have to remove. You're also going to have to remove this plastic plug right here. And then you're going to notice this coating that's on the side of the frame. We want our, our hitch to sit flat, so we need to make sure we scrape that down to get it flush with the frame. So we can take a screwdriver and just kind of scrape it like this come off. And you're going to want to do that on the other side of the vehicle also. Next what we're going to do is we're going to take our fish wire or pull wire. You're going to take the spring in. You're going to take your, one of your spacer blocks, your carriage bolt, and you're going to thread your carriage bolt into the spring end. And you're going to take this into your wire. And you want to go up through this hole, this big hole in the bottom, and out through the most rear hole on the frame. Then we're gonna take our spacer block, you're gonna push it up in the hole like this, and you're gonna take your bolt and follow that, and pull it out this side. You're gonna do that same thing on the other side of the vehicle. You're gonna have four flat washers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tape them on the inside of our rail on our hitch. We'll take a piece of tape and the washer, and we're gonna go over the hole like this. And you're gonna do that same thing on the three remaining holes. Next, we're gonna take our hitch and we're gonna feed it in like this in between our exhaust and our bumper fascia. So we're gonna take the hitch, and you're gonna to have to pull back your bumper fascia and it's gonna fit up inside of it. You're gonna take your hex bolt with your conical tooth washer. You want to make sure the teeth are facing toward the hitch. So we're going to put our back bolt into our weld nut here first on both sides. This is going to hold the hitch in place. And then before we do this front one, we're going to have to take off these rubber isolators and we're going to slide them on here. And we're going to do this on both sides of the vehicle, just the most rear hangers. Just like that. 
then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now, we're gonna hitch up and pull our bolt through, like that. And we can remove our pull wire and add our flange nut. And we're gonna do that same thing to the other side. Next, we'll tighten all of our hardware. Next, we torque all of our hardware to the specifications and the instructions. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna spray our rubber hangers again for our exhaust. And we'll raise our exhaust back up into place. Then you can remove your strap. That'll do it for a look at and installation on the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13315 on our 2015 Mazda CX-5.